Hi everyone, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and my project today is a gift card holder with the Kling stamp set Snow Wonder and the Snow Time dies that match this. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't have a video up on Monday. I, uh, I've been dealing with a few issues, but hopefully they'll get better. Thanks to my sister and my husband. <laughs> okay, so it opens up. Then you have a happy Christmas I, I wrote here on one of the label sets from the die sets. And your card fits right in there. Okay, and I put another one of the images right there. Okay, and, and you could put... Um, a Velcro closure if you don't want to do the, um, and just pop a bow on the top if you didn't want to do the threading through. Okay, first let's do the stamping because I don't, I want to give it a little time to dry before we um, color it. Okay, I'm going to use the snowman image first and we need some tuxedo black ink. Okay, and we're just gonna get the Garden Green Stampin' Pad. And I'm gonna use that on the Christmas trees. Okay, now the stamping. Oh, we need, I cut out already uh, the late, one of the label dies from the Snow Time dies. It's, it's this one here. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment Happy Christmas, which I usually, um, we say Merry Christmas. I think that's a thing in England, Happy Christmas, but that's okay. I don't mind. All right. I'm just going to stamp that right on that label. Now everything can dry, and I'm going to cut these out. I'll be right back. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. All right, and now we're just going to let that snowman dry a little and we'll do the gift card. Okay, so we're starting with a piece. This is a piece of the Heartwarming Hugs collection. And it is four by 11 and a half inches. Okay, so you can get three of these out of one sheet. Okay, so uh, we're going to score up with the 11 and a half inch side on the top. And we're going to score at one, four and a half, and eight. And that's it. Okay, now this is the side that we want showing to the front so we're going to so that one inch piece we're going to fold this way okay and then the rest will fold the other way okay now the side that doesn't have the one inch piece I'm going to open it up and you're going to take this corner and bring it all the way over to the score line. Okay, just bend it over there, hold it, take your bone folder, and crease it. Okay, and we need a little bit of glue. And just, just put some along the edges so that it stays. And we'll just oh, rub it. <laughs> Give it a minute so it'll stay down. Okay. All right. Now we just want to glue right down here. Okay. And you can put a little, little bit up this way. And that's it. All right. And then we're going to fold it like that. And there you have 
most of your gift card holder. Oh, wait, we have to put some glue on this too. You could use um, seal also, but for this part, I would say glue because it'll keep it nice and steady. All right, and then I'll take my gift card out of here, my little puppy one, and it'll fit right in there. Okay. Okay, now for the inside, I'm going to take the Happy Christmas label and I'm going to put it right up here. You don't want to put it down here because then it, it's going to interfere with the holes. And again, you could use seal, but I have my glue out in handy, so that's what I'll use. Okay. And then I'm going to take... The Christmas trees, which we already, they're already pretty colored because they're stamped in the garden green. And I'm going to put them right here. You could probably put them here too, but I liked them over here. That's why I'm always better off with seal. <laughs> seal tends to not uh, get everywhere up for me. Okay, that's better. All right, now for the front, we want to color him. So for the hat, I used a little bit of light smoky slate in the middle. And then the dark smoky slate in from the sides, try to avoid those berries, and for the brim. Okay, and then I just pull it in again, just blend out that middle part. Or you could just do it all with the um, dark, or all well, with the light, either way. Okay, now. For the holly berries, I'm going to use dark real red, and I use the pointy end because the, the berries on this are small. And then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to do the whole scarf. And what's nice about the this whole stamp set here is that everything is pretty much, all the shading is done for you, and you just have to color it in. The stamp shades a lot of it for you. I just do a little, little tiny bit of the tendrils that fall down. Okay, and then we need, I used mossy meadow, dark mossy meadow for the, the holly leaves here. Okay, and the final thing is dark pumpkin pie for the nose. And I took a little bit of white pool party and I just kind of shaded him a little bit. Wherever the darker marks are, I just put a little bit of the pool party. Just shaded them in just a little. Just give him a little bit. A snowman-y kind of blue hue. <laughs> okay. Now, for the front, we're going to put him on dimensionals. Maybe I'll put two at the bottom. Now on this one I made an error and I glued them flat and I didn't like it so I had to color another one and I just popped it up. But that's okay. And I'm just going to center this guy. 
in the middle. Okay, I have some rhinestones here and I'm going to use the pointy end of the real red, dark real red. And I'm just going to color in the rhinestones. Now we do have real red and I think I ordered them or holiday gems but I didn't get them. I think I'm getting my order on Thursday. So I used the regular rhinestones. All right, and then I'm gonna use the take your pick tool. I'm just gonna put them up in this corner over here. Now we need a hole punch and we're just going to hold it. You just find the middle, what you, your, by eye, what you think the middle is. Let me just make sure this is all good and straight. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then wherever the middle is, just go to either side. One. And if it's not exact, it's okay because the ribbon pretty much covers it see this one I came over a little bit okay I use this is my favorite ribbon of the release um, of this catalog it's the sheer real red ribbon I love all the other ones too but I always seem to use this one I'm just gonna if it's at a point if you cut it at a point it's much easier to get through the hole Just going to, to just tie it over. to go this way. I don't know why that happens to me. I could probably look up a video, right? I'm going to try again. Okay. And there you have it. A nice gift card holder that you can make three out of one piece of 12 by 12 DSP. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you would subscribe. I usually do videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. I load them. And if you would like to buy any of the products you saw in this video, the link is at the top of the page, and the measurements will be on my blog if you missed them. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Bye.